Hello, I am Dr. Mohit Tamakwala and I would like to present paper on the topic of CT evaluation of preoperative sarcopenia and its impact on postoperative complication of hepatopancreatic biliary surgeries. And my co-author is Dr. Amol Boite. I would like to discuss here the introduction part, aims and objectives, materials and method use, results, and finally the conclusion. Despite surgical advances, post-operative complication persists having an impact on oncologic outcomes and treatment cost of hepatopancreaticobiliary surgeries. Assessment of risk factor is of prime importance to improve the post-surgical outcomes. An important risk factor among them is sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is assessed by using the scatteral muscle index at the third lumbar vertebrae on CT. Scatteral muscle index emerges as an objective, non-invasive, precise approach to calculate the whole body mass muscle. Our aim is to study the association of preoperative sarcopenia with immediate and delayed postoperative complications in patients undergoing surgeries for hepatopancreatic biliary malignancy. The primary objective is to compare the postoperative outcomes in sarcopenic and non-sarcopenic patients undergoing surgeries for hepatopancreatic biliary malignancies. The secondary objectives are to compare the postoperative infection rates in sarcopenic and non-sarcopenic patients to assess the prevalence of sarcopenia in hepatopancreatic biliary malignancy patients. All patients suspected of having hepatopancreatic biliary malignancies who attended OPD or casualty of Krishna Vishwa Vidyabhid Hospital underwent investigation to establish the diagnosis. Patient who underwent CT abdopelvis, the skeletal muscle index was calculated to evaluate sarcopenia. Skeletal muscle area was defined as the sum of paraspinal, sauce, transverse abdominis, interior and external oblique, and rectus abdominis muscle at level of L3 and plane. Total cross-sectional area at the level of L3 of abdominal skeletal muscle was normalized to high, that is, skeletal muscle area at the level of L3 divided by height square was calculated as L3 skeletal muscle index. Here, there is an image of CT at L3 level vertebral level. The green area represents the source major muscle, blue represents the quadratus lumborum muscle, red area represents the erector spinae muscle, the yellow area represents the transverse abdominis, internal and external oblique muscle and lastly the purple area represents rectus abdominis muscle. The cutoff for sarcopenia is less than 36.5 in males and less than 30.2 in females. Cutoff was taken from an Indian study from Tertiary Care Center. All sarcopenia and non-sarcopenia patients underwent required surgical procedure according to the respective malignancies. After the surgery, patients were assessed for 30 days for post-operative outcomes like length of ICU stay, length of hospital stay, post-operative infection rate, post-operative mortality. The post-operative outcomes were compared between the sarcopenic and non-sarcopenic patients having hepatopancreatic biliary malignancy. Here, there is an example of a male patient of height 167 cm. The cross sectional area at the level of L3 came out to be 92.07 cm square. The skeletal muscle index was calculated according to the height and it came out to be 33 cm square upon meter square. Here, the second example height of a female patient was 1. 48 cm. The cross sectional area at the level of L3 came out to be 85.42 cm square, and the skeletal muscle index was calculated and it came out to be 38.9 cm square upon meter square. Here, in this study, total of 53 patients were taken and they were divided into sarcopenic and non sarcopenic patients. Total 31 patients. Or were non sarcopenic and 22 patients were sarcopenic. The distribution of post operative complications in sarcopenic and non sarcopenic patients were evaluated. The post operative complications like pancreatic leak occur in 6 of the non sarcopenic patients and 5 of the sarcopenic patients. The bile leak occur in 3 of the non sarcopenic patients and 3 of the sarcopenic patients. Delayed gastric emptying occurred in six of the non-sarcopenic patients and two of the sarcopenic patients and the post pancreatectomy hemorrhage occurred in one of the non-sarcopenic patients. Total the post-operative complication in the non-sarcopenic patient out of 31 
the 16 patients were affected and among 22 sarcopenic patients 11 were affected with post operative complications the post operative infective complication was evaluated in both non sarcopenic and sarcopenic patients the surgical site infection occurred in four non sarcopenic patients and seven sarcopenic patients and pneumonia uh, one patient was affected with pneumonia of non sarcopenic and uh, one of sarcopenic intra abdominal abscess occurred in two of the sarcopenic patients total the post operative infection complication occurred in five of the non sarcopenic patients and 10 of the sarcopenic patients so the total post operative complication uh, 16 plus 5 total 21 non sarcopenic patients were affected and 21 of the sarcopenic patients were affected the on concluding the study the highlights of the study were the importance of assessing the sarcopenia in patient undergoing hepatopancreatic or biliary malignancy surgery sarcopenia was associated with adverse post operative outcomes including the higher rates of total post operative complications and post operative infections this finding showed that the identifying sarcopenia patients before surgery may enable healthcare providers to implement rehabilitation strategies targeted interventions to optimize the patient muscle mass and strength enhance the surgical outcomes and overall well-being of the patients here are the references of my study thank you